to say. Thanks, Dakota. Thanks so much, man. I appreciate it. Thanks for the 13 pounds and 37 pence. Very nice of you. Thank you very much. Okay, so we got those bastards in there. That's good. Now, where are we going to put this enclosure for the birdhouse? I feel like the birdhouse could go, like, here. Since nobody gives a shit about the birdhouse. Like, nobody cares about the birdhouse at all, right? Or am I just, like... Is that just me? Is it just me who doesn't give a shit about a birdhouse? Does that have a path? That's not a path. It's like a path in front of a path somehow. So we've got the antelopes and the birdhouse. And the cafe and the restrooms. Good. Good. What else do we need in this zoo? I'll tell you exactly what we need in this zoo. We need paths going around the plaza for one. That's for starters. Oh, weird, look. They, like, go gray here, too. That's really strange. Okay, so there's... There's, like, this, like, main street part that you walk into, and you can get to, like, all the bathrooms and the food and the souvenirs and stuff. That's good. So we've done... Oh, we haven't done the moose and reindeer enclosure. We've done these two. We haven't done the bison enclosure either. The moose and reindeers. Okay, let's put these bad boys like back here somewhere. Where there's room. We have to put them where there's some room. Oh, look, it's actually got a, um, like a connector path that it's going to destroy the uh, road with. It's going to destroy all these roads. What the hell? What's going on with this thing? I'm drunk. I love you, Dad. Please accept my Australian love. Okay. Thank you very much, Whiskey Dash. Thanks so much, man. Love accepted. Love reciprocated. Thank you so much. I appreciate that. Enjoy being drunk. Oh. Oh, I see. So we could have actually... So actually we could do like a... A wild and wacky pernu up here. And then we can have some more space in here for like... You know sometimes when you go and you visit like an enclosure and then there's a person dressed up like a safari expert with a microphone and they tell you like the kind of food that the animals like to eat? But you, it, it only happens on a really cold day when you're at the zoo and you don't want to be there. You happen across them and you're in such a rush to like get out of there and then on a really hot day when you're like fuck Where's that person in the safari costume? That'll tell me and sell me like pellets that I can feed the ant. They're never there They're only there on cold cold days when nobody's around. It's crazy Such symmetry like a like a Japanese Zen garden Yeah, I see what you mean. I can see it 
We're gonna add some trees and stuff in after. We'll like we'll beautify it after. Let's just get the layout right first, boys. And then and then we'll be good. Okay, so let's go for like Oh my god. It actually puts like some leaves that hang down. It can make a bridge. Oh, the bridges are good. That's nice. I'm surprised. You can make it slope up too. I don't know about that height, but at least the ferry will be able to get through there, no problem. And then people on the ferry going through here will be like, wow, it's like being in a real jungle. Which was exactly what I was going for. That's the exact theme that I want here. Jungles of, like that Disney ride with the hippopotamus. The guy shoots him in the mouth. That's the one. You remember that one? You ever been to Disney before? Been on that one, the riverboat cruise. Not the Davy Crockett one. The one with the guy that shoots the hippo. Super high. There's that. Yeah, I know. It is super high, isn't it? I wonder if we can make it like a bit lower. If we make it lower with like. Hang on a second. In here. We might be able to make it a bit lower. That's actually a lot better, isn't it? And then the ferry should be able to clear that no problem too. Okay, good. That'll lead over to the lions. We'll put the lions over there. We haven't unlocked the lions yet. So there'll be a part of the zoo that's not done yet. Antelopes we've done. The bison enclosure we have not done. I think the viewing area for the bisons is like... Is like so. This is gonna be a much better zoo. Holy shit. We tried to cram our other zoo into like the smallest part. And this is just much better. Somebody needs to draw a zoo map. Like a really nice... Once we're done with the zoo, that's your homework, okay? This weekend, somebody draw a really like spicy, cool zoo map. For Wildlife Island, the zoo experience. You know like how when you go to a zoo you get a map and it's all colorful and nice? No, can animals escape from the zoo? I doubt it. That's why we put them all on an island here. That's why we've shoved them all on this island. So this zoo can then be turned into something else. Although we already have two very big parks right in the middle of our, our place. We've got uh, Uncle Phil Memorial Park here and... Uh, Holy crap, a zoo. We got Walur's Park as well. Holy crap, a zoo. You know what? Holy crap, a zoo could maybe turn into like a small amusement place. We could like cut it down, build a couple of houses, and then have like a, a small amusement arcade. Not like Jeffland. Jeffland's going to be big. But you know what I mean? No? It's an Alcatraz for animals. Yeah. I love homework, Dad. Thank you. Make it a children's zoo. Yeah, okay. We can do that. Alright, so we got the bisons now. What else do we have on the list here? Bisons. Ah, the insect, amphibian, and reptile house. A real, a personal no-no for me at the zoo. I would never go to one of these. Unless it's cold. I've been to the zoo before where it's like freezing cold. And I thought to myself, you know what, I could really do with going in there. Because it's always really warm inside these ones, isn't it? Super warm. Where can we put this one? I 
kind of want to put it like here. I don't know why. Some, something's just telling me to put it there. Do better. I think this is like Sim City 4 music or something. Please don't fuck it up. No, I haven't. I don't think I have anyway. Alright, so that's the amphibian enclosure. Do we want to have like connectors like that? And then one that comes around here too. And then we can put like some nice like rest areas in the middle here. I think that'd be good. We'll see. If I don't like it after, we'll change it. Okay, the flamingo enclosure. A personal favorite of mine. Love a flamingo enclosure. Whoops. Okay, let's put the flamingos like up here. You have to like... No! I thought we leveled all this off. I thought we leveled all this off, guys. Evidently not! There's areas that have not been leveled. Okay, we can't go too close to the edge. That's just about okay. Okay, good. Right. Let's go like this. To connect to the flamingos. What else? We have flamingos? Oh, yeah. The elephant enclosure, which is huge. It's a big one. was a good idea music wise for a game it's like saxophone and stuff okay we got elephants now 
What's next? The last thing that we can build is the sea life enclosure, which of course needs access to some water. Mr. Ideas is thinking up a good idea, boys. Mr. Ideas got an idea. could be great! is though is that it leads out into the open water so if we have sharks and stuff we're in a lot of trouble but this could be a good way to get um wait wrong way we're doing it <laughs> okay hang on a sec what do I have to do here now How do I, how do I like open this up into here? How do I open it up into a lake like we did with Ricky Lake? Remember that? Remember back in the day when we did that? A canal. Don't use a canal. Don't use a canal, right? The height is too height. The height is... it's too height. Uh oh. <laughs> it's been a slight flood at the zoo. <laughs> oh god. We created a flood at the zoo. So wait. Can I do this with a canal or not? Is it possible? How do you do it? Major flooding alert. Yeah, it's fine. Oh, I'll make a hole and then place the canal. Got it, baby. Got it. for the, um, for the, um, the aquarium, the wildlife aquarium. Block your ears. Gotta get rid of all these trees. Is that gonna flood? Or should it be okay?
It sort of like empties out and then hang on a sec. Do I have to do like one here too? Do I have to do one here? I mean, I don't even need a canal for that, do I? We could just... Oh, God. We could just do it naturally, right? We don't need a canal. Oh, we do, we do need a canal that side. We do need one that side to hook up with the other side of the canal, right? But this side we don't. My bad. So hang on, we're actually gonna... We're just gonna let animals loose into the water? And just hope that they come back sometimes to for people to watch them do their thing. Weep, weep. <laughs> wow. Listen to that scratching. That was amazing. Okay, so we don't need wall here necessarily now. We maybe put some after. We probably don't really need that either. We have some crime and trash on our beautiful zoo island. Crime and trash. Well, that doesn't look too bad. We can tart it up anyway. Oh my god. This thing is huge though. Look, it barely fits. We're gonna have to get rid of some more of this. I want to keep a little bit of this island though. If possible. Oh, it still doesn't fit! <laughs> There's water there! Oh, I almost had it. Hey, yeah, look, there's a whole bunch of whales and stuff. That's ridiculous. Okay, hang on a second. Okay, hang on, hang on. Oh, this old chestnut. Okay. And then... And then... And then... Got too much soil now. I want to keep the little island. I want to make a little bridge over here and like a viewing point or something for this. So that people can watch from another location. Well, that's better. That's so much better. Okay, good. Alright. Let's go with the path. Yes. Can I help you? Hey, thanks, Body Space. Thanks so much for the um, for the bits. I appreciate it. How is there no power here? Okay, we have to put something in the middle to connect it up, such as more toilets. There. 
Perfect. Okay, good. And now... And now, we can have, also... A little tiny bridge. It goes over here. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> Oh my god. The thing is in the way, guys. Oh, my bedonkers. Oh my god. It's still right in the way. I so desperately want to have this cool crosswalk so that people can watch. The animal shows. <laughs> ah, I like it. And look, it feels like it's a little more contained. There's like stingrays and everything down here. I mean, at least we got some water in here. Okay, fine. So that's the that's the Aqua Life Park, which of course is just gonna let animals back out into like the wilderness. So maybe Wildlife Island is kind of uh, kind of accurate. No, maybe. Does this, align, uh, this island allow for recreational use? It could do, yeah. <laughs> Would you like it to? Look, it almost looks like a sign. Tony Magoni's Wildlife Island. That's right. Come and smoke your drugs on Tony Magoni's Wildlife Island. <laughs> Look at that. That's good. We've made a sign. It's got like a star in there. Look, the A is a star. And then you've got like some dude who is just like ripped right off of his tits on the weed smiling at you as well. Oh, I like that. It's basically what I'm trying to say is I like smiling. I like when people smile at me. Hmm. That really doesn't work. Alright, so we've got some toilets in there. We've got this big open space in the middle here for some stuff as well, if we would like to have some stuff. We can make the flower beds. We can have like some hot dog trucks and stuff here. Look, we can have like a little, a little kiosk. We can even set up like the, um, the things. We can use like some of the other assets, right? Like these benches with the trees and slot machines and stuff. There's a whole bunch of zoo themed ones over here. Like the sign for the zoo to tell you that, you, hi, welcome, you made it to the zoo. Wow. Welcome to the zoo. Wow. Wow. Okay, let's put another zoo sign here just in case you're like lost and you don't know what the fuck is going on. At least you can read that zoo sign when you get over here. Maybe it'll tell you where the hell you need to go. Okay. Okay, we'll put little signs there too so that you know where to go. Perfect. Good. 
We need a munchie station. Right, okay. You know what? You know what these thing what these parks needed? I think somebody mentioned it before and it's so true. Park rangers would have been great, right? Park rangers would have been absolutely great. Cuz now you got to place like a police station in here. We also gonna, we're also going to need like a crematorium too. <laughs> or else we're just going to have these issues forever, right? It's going to be the worst. No? Wah! Wah! Hang on a sec, I gotta reply to something real quick. I just gotta reply to something real quick. Sorry about that. All right. So what are we going to do in terms of like uh this is look this is looking good. I like the layout. I think with like a, a little bit of tarting up and stuff it can look really good. And then we got room over here as well for more attractions. And there's room in the middle for attractions too because we're currently missing quite a few. We need the giraffes, we need monkeys, rhinos, and lions. So there's at least four more attractions, right? Why not water turbine to free up land space for useless police station fire? Um, uh, yeah, I guess I could do that. That's a good idea. What, like, just shove it in there, I mean? Instead of this thing? The wave power plant. What, just like shove it here? That's a great idea. Holy crap. Now I can get rid of this. I kind of miss it already, though. It was nice. I liked it a lot. Okay, so we need to put the uh, police station in here. Somewhere, somehow. Somehow, some way. Don't ask me how the hell we're going to do that. We might have to have them, like... You know what we might have to do? We might have to have them like on the side here and then they can just like loop around. It'd be like a little servicey sort of area. We want to try to like loop it perfectly. No. Oh no, so close. Boys, we were so close with that one. I'll take that. Hang on a sec. Um, 
Sorry about this. Sorry, I'm almost done. Okay, good. Oh, things are afoot, friends. Things are afoot! Things are afoot! Okay, let's get the police station here then. And let's also get a clown town burner here too. We'll space them out a little bit though, so that we can put some trees and disguise the fact that we have all these dumb services over here. Maybe we don't even need. There. Good. Great. Have sex stick my wife? No, I'm not. Why would I need to do that? She's literally like five steps away. I could just go inside and stand right in front of her with my phone and sext her from there. <laughs> I don't need to do it out here. God damn. You guys are crazy. Okay. Let's disguise some of this with trees. Like we did on the other side. Just to make it look a bit nicer. great actually I like this I really like what we've done with Tony Magoni's wildlife island there hasn't been a single visitor yet is this because there's like wait there are people here though are people somehow sneaking in without paying Look, it is getting visitors, but it's just not registering as them being visitors. Why are people walking all the way over here? Oh, to work. They're working. What? There's no access. Add a blimp. Oh, I like the water. I like the, the water arrival. I think, that's, I think the water arrival is the way to go. It, they should be registering as visitors though, right? Oh, strange. Entertainment until next level we've done. But we've gotten no visitors. Underground service road to the city. And then we don't need any of this stuff, I guess. Well, you think it needs to actually, the road needs to be connected up somehow to, like, the rest of the city? Ah, we'll figure it out after. What time is it now? It's like 10 after 6. I gotta go pretty soon. Oh, I've really enjoyed today. I think we've done a lot of cool stuff. The city is looking much better. It's looking much, much better, isn't it? No? Remove the other zoo. Visitors only registers when it's hooked up to a road. Oh, is that right? It is actually hooked up to a road, but what? It's not hooked up to a road that is hooked up to the rest of the city. Is that what you mean? Wow. <gasps> Jeff Land has reached level three. Swinging boat, house of horrors, and bumper cars. Oh my god. Let's do this quickly before I go. I can't believe Jeff Land has reached level three. Here it is, just out here by itself, just doing its own thing. Just plugging away. Got a swinging boat now, boys. Let's get this swinging boat in. Let's get the House of Horrors as well. The House of Horrors is big. God damn. And what's this one? Bumper cars. Oh, 
Oh, look at the House of Horrors. That is terrifying. Look at people are actually coming to Jeffland now. There's quite a few people here. Look, there's a couple of parked cars. They're parking on the road like assholes too. It's very French. This is like what every French theme park looks like. The tiles and stuff. You would not go in there. Why not? What the hell? We gotta fix this area. We'll fix it up after though. We'll fix it up next week when I when I come back. Um, I might be on over the weekend, but I doubt it. I honestly think I'm just gonna sleep. It's been a pretty intense couple of days getting uh, early access to this. Man, the park stuff is very good though. It's very fun. It adds like a whole new level of detail to your cities and stuff and it, it is pretty good. I've, I've really enjoyed it. I think some of the new stuff that they've added is great actually. I don't like some of the other DLCs have been a little bit like like my thing most for the most part the DLCs have been pretty good right but I think this I think this one just seems to have a lot more stuff in it that you can spend a lot of time detailing uh, with which is really nice like you wouldn't be able to make a zoo like this or you could do but it would be hard but the fact that it counts as a park and stuff as well is pretty great actually it should mean that the land value goes up around some of these places so holy crap a zoo will get rid of and we'll probably make it into like a small amusement park like a very small amusement park just like kind of like an arcade with like maybe a couple of rides like it'd be cool to have a ferris wheel right in the city um kind of like the like the london eye or something like that so we might just do that with uh with the old zoo and get rid of it uh and then uncle phil memorial park we might do some more with it i'm not sure <laughs> we might sack it off as well to be fair it is very big and sparse which i don't like i don't like the sparseness of it but i like the i like the emotion behind it we made this monorail track that goes between the highway out to the airport we got the airport today as well we've done a lot today we've done a lot of stuff today we did the whole beach and everything we've grown the city it's been pretty good our population's nearly at 30,000 people and my game crucially is not lagging at all ferry passengers are bugged and don't count as park visitors you had the same problem with jurassic park visitors don't register build the blimp line i think if anything we'll just do like an underground tunnel uh back to the city instead and just do it that way and then people can actually drive out here but yeah you're right it, they don't seem to be registered hey daddy remember me we found no, a bug it's me your son <gasps> jack Ozzy. uh oh anyways do you ever think the day will come where you let me clean the chocolate off of your asshole? Oh my god. You seem to enjoy cleaning mine. Jeez. Just wondering. Have a weekend. These these are these are very, very personal messages that I wish I wish you wouldn't share with the public. I really wish. I really wish. I really wish. There's no there's no reason for it. Okay, I didn't want everyone to know that I had chocolate all over my my b-hole, okay? I did not want them to know. Alright, on that note, let me save Sipsalulu. Uh, thanks, Jacozy, for the uh, for the donation. I appreciate it. Uh, let me save Sipsalulu. Wait, let me save it. Okay, let me save it. And then let's take a nice cinematic look of the city from, like, far away. Look, the zoo island is looking good from up here. Looks pretty nice. So this is this is what we got so far, right? And we're gonna unlock the rest of this. I think we've almost unlocked the rest of the island as well. Now this is what we've got so far, right? Do you want the nighttime monorail? All right, fine, fine. We can do it quickly, all right? We'll do a quick nighttime monorail. Let's wait for it to to turn into nighttime. And then um, we can do a, a cinematic mode, and then I'll go, okay? Only because I'm so proud of my own city, I want to sit here and look at it, and look at it, and look at it, and also look at it some more. Uh, I'll do a, um, I'll, I'll enable that uh, map export mod after, and do a map export if you guys want to see what it looks like in map form. 
I think it could look kind of nice in map form. We'll check it out and see anyway. Tornado the monorail. No way. You like the huge shit stained bay? Yeah, that's a personal favorite of mine too. Look, I like that. We could probably clean that up a little bit. We could probably get some better, um, better things to clean it up. First person camera monorail ride. I don't know if I can do that. I don't know how to do the first person camera. Is there like an option to do it? Oh look, it's getting dark. It's getting dark. We'll go into a slower speed and then ride the monorail, okay? I don't know how to do first person though. It's because there's no flow there in the bay. Am I proud of you guys? Yeah, I am. Big time. Oh look, it's almost nighttime. As soon as it goes nighttime, I'll slow it down and then we'll do the monorail ride at night, okay? All right, the light should be coming on. Oh, yes. Look at that. Beautiful. Look at what a nice looking city at night. Whoa. Okay, hang on a sec. Let me slow it down a little bit. Okay, we gotta find a monorail that leaves from here. Alright, here's the nighttime monorail ride. You ready? Whoa! It's a little bit bumpy. Oh, yeah, look at this highway. All lit up like a Christmas tree, baby. Look at this. Clang, 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 clang. Oh, look at the planes. Clang, 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 clang. Right to the airport. Oh, look at all the people waiting. Jeez, the airport's really busy. It's a popular destination. Okay. Back into the city we go. Continuing. Oh! What a sight! Look at the balloon and the blimps and stuff, too! Oh, guys, look at this! What a beaut! God damn! Look at all the buildings in the background and stuff too. It looks great. Oh. You like did you like the skyline looks fantastic from the airport, doesn't it? Oh my god. Look at that highway. Oh jeez. There's a couple of rough edges that could do with sorting out. We'll get to them though, don't worry. Eventually we'll get to them. Nice. Okay, this is like a trip through the city center now, at night. Look, the streets are bustling. Everybody's having some noodles. There's a couple of people waiting for the train. Hop on, everybody. Choo-choo! And our final stop is uh, the industrial area. Oh, look at the turbines up on the mountain, too. Oh, man, that looks great. This place looks really nice at night, doesn't it? Jeez. And in the distance there, you can see what I thought were the, um, the ship processors, but they're not. It's actually a highway bridge. The ship processors are, like, neatly tucked away. You can't really see them from here, which is a good thing. Uh, you can almost, yeah, you can see them. <laughs> That's fine, though. We're in the industrial area, so it's fine. You'd expect to see that here. Here we go. Two people <laughs> getting on the train. Nice. All right. There you go. The tour is done. You want to do this one now? At night? Wow! Look at night! Oh my god. The traffic's quite bad down here, actually. Gotta probably sort it out. Look. It looks great at night, doesn't it? Holy crap. 
Look at all those people waiting to go camping. Look at them all. They're piling in. <laughs> the angry elephant was waiting with them as well. Sick of waiting. He wants to go to the campsite straight away. Just finished work. Oh! Penis Park! Look at how nice it looks all lit up! Oh, wow! The cinematic camera sure picks the views, huh? Jeez. Oh, this is great. This is such a good addition to the game as well. I love this. So nice. I'm not sure about this view, though. It's like a fire station and... I don't even know what that is. Oh! Look at that! The angles that they it picks too is great, right? Like you would never really bother with like some of these angles. It's really good. Perfect. Are we still following this guy? We were still following that guy around a little bit. All right, cool. Um, all right, I am done. I'm going. It's time for me to go, friends. I must go. 